guys, this is Vinny from FuelTech USA and today I'm going to show you how to data logging on the FT700 and some details over the software and the ECU. Alright, so right here we got our FT700 Plus and my laptop. They're both connected to the same Wi-Fi and as we show on previous videos about connecting your ECU to your laptop, check it out if you, if you haven't. And right now we're going to download the log from the ECU to the laptop over Wi-Fi, super easy. The same that you're going to be doing at the track. So right now I have the 700 plus number 13 here with me. I'm just going to click here, connect to the ECU. So already talking to the ECU, it's downloading all the logs and uh, the maps that are available on the ECU. I'm just going to go over the list and um, I'm going to show you the last log that I did this morning. We're doing some bench testing here gonna download right on my laptop all right we just finished downloading the log and uh, here you can see a lot of information just like uh, if you use FT managed before you already used to this and on the vision FT it follows pretty much the same with a new design and some other buttons and options so I'm gonna go through it uh, with you guys just to show uh, here on the left column we have all the channels that we're logging and uh, I can just uh, uncheck them all check them all or uncheck and then select only ones that I, I want to see from different groups. I have group one here and then you keep scrolling down and you're going to see multiple groups and all the information that I was uh, saved on this log. So you can play with it and uh, let's say we're going to enable this, this channel over here, transmission pressure. And um, you see on purple, you can change clicking on the right button in your software, you're going to change the color over here. And also, if you want to change any settings of this channel, you can go over here, the name, color, uh, how smooth the line is, if the scales are all fixed or not. So let's say it never reached uh, 1450. I can uh, just refresh here. It reached the maximum was 500. So it already uh, expands and gives more resolution for you to see. Decimal place, everything, confirm and, cons and cancel. Uh, we confirm now the top of the scaling. The top of the scaling is 500 PSI. And, um, Right here on this uh, top bar, we have other options. So chart is where we are right now. Uh, if you go to settings, you can change uh, your channel settings as if it was um, as if you were uh, changing on your map. So you can enable and uh, make them visible or not. So for the next log and this log, we will change it automatically. You can always um, change if you want to move the groups around. So this channel is on group one right now. We can move to group two, three, four, or five, and um, it's just gonna reorganize the log as you want. And you can also uh, make the way you feel best in things that are used to groups, differentiation, separation. That's much easier than it used to be on FT Manager where you had to drag them up and down. And uh, here on this screen, you can also change so many details and maximums and minimums, colors, everything that I kind of already showed you before, but this is going to be for the whole log and for the next logs too. So whatever you did before on the left column that I show is just going to be for this log. And here on the settings and you write the ECU later, it's going to be for all the logs from now on. So let's go back to chart. And then here on top, you're going to see the, the this arrows over here and the time. So if you click right here, it's one millisecond step four on the line. Then you have 10 milliseconds and then you have 100 milliseconds. So you can move uh, from, uh, forward and uh, backwards uh, the way you want to check the log or you can just click on the screen and you're going to move wherever you want on the, on the chart. You can also um, zoom in or zoom out using the, the bottom bar here or the icons on top, zoom in, zoom out. And uh, a, you can see this bar here, you can drag it to the left and you're going to see more options. A, and you're gonna see like a set to orange, so so you're gonna move where the zero time is on your log, and you can go from there. You can also uh, open your map from your log. Uh, this is a very useful tool. So if you have a, a log and you want to see exactly what was the map on that run, you can always open uh, your map from here. Anything that you, you change or you want to save, just click here or cancel here. And uh, so all this this top options here are very useful to handle the log. And you also have some other options where you can move the whole uh, column to the left or to the right and also to the top. So you can see the, the window is going to get like wider here or it's going to get narrow. Depends where, you, where you're going to place 
the left column with all the values. Another really nice thing on the 700, either the plus or the regular 700, is that you can take a look at the logs on the screen, on the ECU itself. So if you come over here and data logger, you're gonna see all the logs that you have saved on your ECU, which is a pretty big memory. You can save a lot of data in here and you can scroll over them. And also just like on the laptop, you can download over here and navigate just like the laptop. That makes like really easy if you're at the track, you wanna quick take a look at something that happened in the last pool, you wanna change something, you can also change your map from here, but uh, messing with the log on the screen really helps a lot. Okay guys, this was a brief idea about the data logger on FT700 and FT700 Plus, and there's a lot more you can explore by yourself, so make sure you get the vision software downloaded on your laptop, and also play with the ECU, take advantage of the big screen, now you can see the logs much better, you can also use the laptop, connect uh, over Wi-Fi, so it's a really, really nice tool. Uh, if you have any more questions about the FT700, just visit us at fueltech.net.